So welcome to Unit 3's review. We're going to take on test. So we started this unit with simple multiplication of fractions. You look for some canceling. This is 11 halves times 1 fifth. There isn't any, so then you just multiply across. 11 times 1 is 11. 2 times 5 is 10. And that's a perfectly good answer. I didn't ask for the mixed number, but I might, and so you should be ready for that. And 10 tenths is 1, so that's also, both of those are right. So I could have a problem where uh, give all the possible answers, right? And you'd have to pick both of them. 6 times 2 fifths is the same as 6 over 1 times 2 fifths. Don't flip anything. This is multiplying. And this is what happens to some people in the test. They start flipping things. That's for division, right? This is multiplication. So you just multiply across again. 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5. 12 fifths is a correct answer. 10 fifths is 2. So this is also 2 and 2 fifths. 1 third of 28. 1 third of 24. That is the same thing as 24 divided by 3 is 8. It is also the same thing as 1 third times 24. Either way you show your work is fine. But I want you to know that half of something is divided by 2, a third of something is divided by 3, a twelfth of something is divided by 12. Right. Oops, I had a little problem with uh, parentheses there, but you can get the where it's canceling here. So 12, 12 divided by 12, 5 divided by 5. There's three negatives here, so the answer is negative, right? If there's an odd amount of negatives, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, the answer is negative. And then it doesn't matter how many numbers, how many negatives. Now what's left? We have a 4 on the top and 11 on the bottom. The answer to this is negative 4 elevenths. Right? That was getting us ready for unit conversions. Right? Notice that 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. And that's how you convert 6 feet into 72 inches. All right, so two negatives. The answer is going to be positive. That's negative 59 times negative 18 70ths. I'm going to cancel these. They're both end in 0, so divide by 10. 9 and 18 are both divisible by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Now I'm going to multiply across. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 7 is 7. Two negatives make a positive. It's 10 sevenths. I might also be asked for the mixed number. 1 and 3 sevenths. You cannot multiply mixed numbers, so you have to always make them into improper fractions. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. This is 11 fourths times 3 elevenths. Uh, now we can cancel that. 3 fourths is the only correct answer. Right? There's only one answer because it's a proper fraction. All right, so you're going to be asked about the method of unit conversion. So which one is the correct way? The one on the right, because you can you cancel the pounds, and then you would do 3 times 16. And notice, the right, if you want to convert 3 pounds into ounces, the word you need is always right there. 3 pounds is 48 ounces. Barry has 2 ounces of potatoes. How many pounds of potatoes? So we need a conversion factor for pounds and ounces. That's this one. We have to put the 16 ounces on the bottom, the one pound on the top. The ounces cancel, and you get 2 over 16, which is 1 eighth, right? I could have canceled there, by the way. Could have done it right there. But it's 1 eighth pound. Now, you can if, be sure if I had a multiple choice question, right? I'd have 16 times 2, 32, as a fake answer. That's why you have to set it up. And notice if you're multiplying by 16 or multiplying by what you are here, one sixteenth. Two ounces is way less than a pound. It's one eighth of a pound. All right, so this is a scale drawing. A map is a scale drawing. It's a half of an inch between Santa Barbara and Los Angeles. And on this map, one inch equals 200 miles. So one inch equals 200 miles. It makes sense then that half an inch is 100 miles. So you have to be able to read these. Now that's two and a half. It's two and eight sixteenths, but hopefully you can realize that's halfway between two and three. Two and eight sixteenths, that's not a zero. Simplifies to two and a half. So it's two and a half inches long, and we want to know how many feet the real room is. Well, the scale is one inch equals 16 feet. You can't multiply a mixed number. That's five halves 
times 16 over 1, we can cancel, and we get 40 inches. And if you put 40 without, no, not, if you put inches, it's wrong, Mr. Ben, it's 40 feet. The real distance here was 2 and a half, right? The real distance here was 2 and a half inches on the drawing, but it's 40 feet in reality, because 1 inch is 16 feet, right? So 2 inches is 32, and 2 and a half inches is 40 feet. Train designer wants to make a model of train that is 78 feet long. We're going to use a scale to convert that into the mo to a model size. And in the model, we're going to use 6 feet equals 1 inch. We're going to cancel. Now, 6 doesn't go exactly into 78, I don't think. Maybe, well, maybe it does. Oh, it does. It goes in 13 times. All right, so it goes in 13. So the model should be 13 inches long. All right, so we're going to make find out how long this path is. So we have to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight boxes long. And one box, so the one box goes there, is one-fifth of a mile. All right, so this is eight. We multiply across. It's eight times one-fifth. Eight times one-fifth is eight-fifths. It's eight-fifths miles, also known as one and three-fifths miles between A and B. All right, so now you're going to make a drawing. So you're going to make a drawing of 12 by 15. And now I'm gonna, this is a sketch. This is not to scale. 12 by 15. Okay. Now we're going to use one box equals three feet. So three feet equals one box. So that this side will be five boxes long. This is 12, right? And it's going to be 12 times the same scale, one third, and we cancel, and that's going to be four boxes. So it's four boxes by five boxes, All right? So that means, right, the short side is going to be one, two, three, four boxes. The long side is going to be five boxes, and you can make it anywhere, right? You could make it anywhere, but I tend to always make it in the upper left-hand corner for these, and so. This is, let's label this, right? The 12 foot side is now, the 12 foot side was four, and the, uh, right, four boxes equals 12 feet, and the 15 foot side was five. Right, which is the correct way to do this? Well, the top one, seconds cancels with seconds, minutes cancels with minutes, and that will turn 14,400 seconds into hours. This one has seconds canceling with minutes. No. All right, so 720 inches is how many yards? So I think this is going to be a multiple step conversion. So do I have any? The only one that has inches in it is that one. So 12 inches equals one foot. So that will cancel the inches, and I've got feet. I've got a thing with feet now. I want to turn feet into yards, right? I don't want to turn feet into miles, right? I want to turn feet into yards, so I need that one. So it's three feet equals one yard. And once again, you can do these backwards, right? You know you want yards to end up in that position. So you could have worked backwards to make sure that yards gets there. All right, so now, now let's do the math. So 12 goes into 72 six times. So 12 goes into 720, 60. 3 goes into 6 twice, so 3 goes into 60 20 times. This is 20 yards, is 720 inches. And we ended with division. One third is the same as divided by 1 12th is the same as 1 third times 12, which is 4. Multiply by the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse. This is 5 halves divided by 1 third, which is 5 halves times 3, which is 15 halves, which is fine and dandy, but 14 halves is 7, so 15 halves is 7 and a half. You can't do anything with mixed numbers as far as multiplying and dividing, so we're going to get rid of that. That becomes negative 9 halves divided by 1 half, which is the same as negative 9 halves times 2, Ooh, we can cancel the twos and we get negative nine. One negative in the problem. This is three eighths divided by two and a half, 
which is 3 eighths, and then we can make that divided by 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 halves, multiply by the reciprocal, 2 fifths, cancel the 2 and the 8, and I'm getting 3 twentieths. How many minutes in 840 seconds? So we have 840 seconds, and then we're going to put 60 seconds down here, equals one minute. The zeros cancel. Now six goes into 84. I'm going to just do that. Six goes into 84 once. Six goes into 24, four. Ah, so it is 14 minutes. And make sure you have the units. It's not 14. The answer is 14 minutes. Am I going to get half credit if I write 14? No, this is all about the words. You'll get no credit. How many gallons is 72 pints? All right, so I'm trying to turn pints into gallons. All right, I, I, I'm not trying to turn, pints to cups is not gonna help me. All right, so let's do pints to quarts. So pints, two pints equals one quart. Did that help? Yeah, because now I have one, that, so I can cancel the pints. Now I'm gonna make, so I don't need this top one. It's there just to confuse you. So you understand what's going on. So then the other conversion factor is four quarts equals one gallon. Did I end up with gallons in the right spot right there? Yes, I did. So this is the math. All right, now two goes into 72, 36 times. Four goes into 36, nine times. So this is nine gallons is 72 point pints is nine gallons. Which answers are greater than three? So there could be more than one. Well, you can do the math, that's the easy way. Seven times, divided by one, there's seven times three, 21. So definitely that one, circle the original one. Seven divided by one is the same as seven times one. That is not greater, that's equal, right? And so we're not circling that one. Seven divided by four thirds is the same as seven times three fourths. Okay, now you can't cancel, that's 21 fourths and so uh, four thirds, so 21 fourths, I'm sorry, 21 fourths, four 20 fourths is five, right? So this is five and one fourth. Is that greater than seven? No, it's less. And then seven divided by two and a half, seven uh, divided by two times two is four plus one is divided by five halves, seven times two fifths is 14 fifths. 10 fifths is two, so it's two and four fifths. So which ones were greater than seven? Only the first one. And that's because one third is the only number less than one. If you divide by one, you get the same number. You get something equal. If you divide by something greater than one, doesn't matter, you're gonna get more, you're gonna get less than what you started with because one and one third, four thirds is, is only gonna go into seven, right? Five and a fourth times. Two and a half is only going to go into seven two and four fifths times, less than seven. But one third is small. It's less than one. It goes in 21 times. Good luck on the test. Do your homework first.